You know what being rich is really about? I don't mean fake, flashy, name brand Lamborghini rich. I mean true wealth. It's about time. I'm not a rich man because of the possessions I have. I'm a rich man because of the time I control. No meetings on my schedule. No boss to report to. No debt that has to be paid back. I'm talking about free, open, one-of-a-kind time. Warren Buffett said that if you never learn how to make money in your sleep, you'll work until you die. All it takes is a quote like that to realize, wow, we're really doing this work-life balance all wrong. I've always had kind of a childish-like curiosity about life, how things work. I've always asked the question, why, a lot. Not to be challenging, but because I'm genuinely curious. I remember when I was in college, I was looking for the best internship in town, which happened to be at an insurance brokerage who sold trucking insurance. My friends always told me that's the best place to get a job. Why? Why is it the best? They said because you could make the most money compared to any other businesses, being in sales for insurance. So I took their advice, I applied, and I got an internship there. In the first few weeks, I got to job shadow a trucking insurance salesman. And my curious mind asked, how much money do you make? Obviously, you can't really ask that question because that's taboo. So the workaround question I came up with was, can you retire if you work here? His response, oh my gosh, 401k, you won't even need one. Wow, I thought, must be a lot of money. After my internship was over, I applied to get a job in sales and was rejected. And there I was, already one foot in the door as an intern with the guaranteed way to basically retire and I couldn't do it. But it made me really question, I think the status quo of what a great job is. I mean, I do think, what's the point of working? We work so we could not work eventually, right? Isn't that the goal? Work the most formidable years of your life so that one day you can retire. Say, I'm done. Damn, I don't wanna wait till I'm 65 to retire. That seems like a really long time. How can I turn my golden years of retirement to the golden years of my life? Is that possible? How do I learn to make money work for me during my formidable years until when I'm 65 and old? And how do I make the maximum income doing something I love instead of selling trucking insurance? Is it really possible to make as much as a big time CEO but do something that you love? Hell yes, but there is a catch. In fact, it's a big price. I had to make sacrifices that other people wouldn't even consider. I had to stay in when others went out. I had to binge books instead of binge Netflix. And your 20s, isn't that like some of the best years of your life where you get to basically party, let loose? Well, I had to give that up. Today I'm 31 years old, I live in this van. And you may think I failed at life, but I actually think I'm winning because I saved 95% of my monthly income. I make seven figures a year actually doing something I love. Every day doesn't even feel like I work at all. I feel kind of like I cheated at life. I didn't have to sell trucking insurance to get here. What I did have to do though, is make daily sacrifices and harder decisions. Easy choices, hard life. Hard choices, easy life. And I don't want this video just to be all pep talk and motivation. I'm gonna give you the exact formula of how I got here. If you have the money, your first step, set up a Roth IRA and max it out. Here's something mind blowing. $5,000, which is give or take around the max, over 35 years and a 10% yield or interest 
$1.4 million. Maybe $5,000 a year sounds out of your hands. Well, level with me on this. $5 a day at a 10% rate over 35 years, $888,000. Like I said, it's as simple as a math equation. The earlier you start, the more you contribute, the closer you can get to financial freedom. The moment you start working on this equation is the moment you change your family tree, your financial destiny. It's the moment that you start taking back your time, controlling it, owning it. It's the moment that you start extending your golden years from something that you don't have to wait until you're old and crinkly to get. Most people think that if they save 10% of every dollar they make that they're doing all right, but it's just not enough. You have to go big. Don't save 10%, save 20, 30, or even 60%. Start now, set up those auto contributions. How bad do you want this? Be extreme. Don't eat out for a year. Go back and live with roommates. As someone who's on the other side of a decade of sacrifice, let me tell you, it's worth it.